So today I'm going to be doing a drugstore haul and I'm going to be showing you guys some of the products that I got. And it's not anything fancy, it's just some stuff that I picked up and I just wanted to share them with you guys. So the first item are these Revlon Color Burst Matte Lip Balms. And I know they just came out and I didn't get the shiny one, I just got the matte ones. I got four colors. And um, these are very similar to um, the Revlon's Just Bitten Kissable uh, Lip Stain Balm. And I think the only difference is that these are the balm stain and um, these new ones, they're just a lip balm. So I'll show you guys the colors. So the first color that I got is 220 and this one is in showy and it's a really nice pink and that's what I have on my lips right now and as you can see they're very pigmented. I barely swatched that and look at that. But I really love these because they're very velvety and um, they glide on so smoothly and so easy on your lips. I'm surprised that I actually like this color because it seems a little bit too um, pink but it has a really nice like violet undertone which I really like and it really complements my skin. The next color that I got is number 205 and this one is called Elusive and this one is like a neutral pink or like a mauvey pink. It's really great for everyday wear. There we go. And then the next one that I got is number 250 and this is called Standout. And this is actually the color that I wanted the most and it was the last one. So I'm glad I got it. And it's just a really nice red color. It's not too dark and not too bright. And then the last color that I got is number 215 and this is called Shameless. And it's like a purple and it's a really nice dark purple color. It looks really dark and intimidating because it's just very purplish, but when you put it on, it actually does really look nice. Um, if you have like a light eye makeup with this color, it really does go well, and I really love it. It's, it's a color that I don't have, but I'm glad that I purchased this because I'm going to be wearing this a lot as well. So yeah, so these were the four colors that I got. I got two light and then two dark. I wasn't really interested in the shiny ones. I've heard they're not very pigmented, so I heard a lot of good reviews about these four. So these are the colors that I purchased. And the next product is L'Oreal's Infallible Never Fail Lip Color. And this one is number 310 and it's crimson. It's like a really nice bright red. Let's see here. So let's see here, that's the color, it's really nice, it's a nice bright red and I think I'm going to like this one as well. And I got another lipstick and this is Maybelline's Stormy Sierra number 945 and it's in their nude collection, really nice nude everyday neutral color and I will swatch it right here. I really like this because it complements my skin tone. It's really, it's a really nice neutral color. It's more of um, on the orangey side, but it goes really nice with like a smoky eye or even neutral eyes. So I really like that. I also picked up Wet n Wild's matte lipstick, and this one is actually my favorite. It's number 965, and it's called Cherry Picking. It's actually one of my favorite, favorite, favorite matte lipsticks and these are so cheap these were I think $1.99 this is actually my third one um, the only thing that I don't like about it is just the packaging as you can see it's very cheap and it it kinda sucks but it is a very nice matte lipstick and this is the color right there I love this color I wear this almost every single day if I'm not doing heavy makeup on my eyes it's just a very nice pinkish red color and it's great for everyday wear. I actually have all of their matte colors as well. Um, I should probably do a review on it. Um, but yeah, if you guys are looking for affordable um, matte color lipsticks, I do recommend the Wet n Wild one. And then the next product is L'Oreal's Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner. It's a gel eyeliner. And I wanted to try this one. This one's in Blackest Black. I have the Maybelline one, but I, um, I'm kind of running out of that, so I wanted to try the L'Oreal version. 
Now let me open this so I can swatch it. And I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking you never really use gel eyeliners on your tutorials and there's a reason why. It's just for me, I'm so used to the liquid eyeliners and um, it just applies faster than the gel for me. I'm not a pro yet when it comes to these gel eyeliners. Sometimes I'll have my good days and then sometimes I'll have my bad days. But for tutorials, I, I just prefer the liquid eyeliner because it, it's faster. So it comes with the applicator, it's an eyeliner brush. And it's the color. Let's see here. So as you can see, it's very, it looks really glossy. And let's see. Ooh. Oh my. That's really nice. It comes out so smooth and very creamy. I really like this. I really like it a lot. It comes on really, it, it glides on really smooth. Oops. Like that. And I love the color. It's very intense. And then I also grabbed Revlon's Photo Ready Foundation. And this one is in a golden beige. And I just grabbed another one because I'm actually almost done with this. Actually, I am kind of done with this. So I just got another one and I really like it. it's good for everyday wear I've been wearing this a lot so I just decided to get another one but I would recommend this foundation um, I think it's actually one of the best drugstore foundations that you can get it goes on really well it does last for a long time and it's just a great foundation in general and then the two last products that I purchased is just basically moisturizer. And this one is a night moisturizer. It's from Neutrogena and it's the Continuous Hydration um, Night Cream. So it looks like that. And I'm glad there's not really a strong scent. I usually have all my moisturizers fragrance free just because I just don't like any fragrance on my face and it kind of irritates my skin. Sometimes my skin is sensitive and sometimes it's not so I just want to play the safe route and just go with everything fragrance free. And then for my day cream I just actually got the Target brand. Um, it's just like a bootleg version of the Neutrogena um, oil free moisturizer SPF 15 lotion. Looks like that. And for me, it works all the same. As long as it's fragrance-free, it's oil-free, I'm good, I'm straight, <laughs> and I like it. But yeah, that is everything that I purchased today. And it's nothing big, but I just wanted to share the products that I purchased with you guys. But that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!